Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about an interesting topic, gastric lavage. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. Gastric lavage is called by other names like gastric irrigation or suction, stomach pumping or stomach wash, nasogastric lavage, orogastric lavage. If the procedure is done by inserting a nasogastric tube, it is called a nasogastric lavage and if it is done by inserting an orogastric tube, then it is called a orogastric lavage. Now, what is gastric lavage? Gastric lavage is the aspiration of stomach contents and washing out of the stomach by means of a large bore gastric tube inserted through the mouth through orogastric tube or through the nose via nasogastric tube into the stomach. Gastric lavage is a method of gastrointestinal decontamination. Now, when we look into the purpose, gastric lavage has both diagnostic as well as therapeutic purposes. Let's see one by one. For urgent removal of ingested substance to decrease systemic absorption, to empty the stomach before endoscopic procedures, to cleanse the stomach as a preparation for surgery, to diagnose gastric hemorrhage and to arrest hemorrhage, to obtain casts of epithelial cells for bacteriological studies. Now, what are the indications of gastric lavage? Life-threatening poisoning and presentation within one hour of ingestion. That is, gastric lavage is effective within one hour of ingested poison. Next is symptomatic patient who have ingested an agent that slows gastrointestinal motility, helps to evacuate clots. Patient who have ingested sustained release medication and for diagnostic purpose. For example, preparing stomach for endoscopic surgery or any other gastric surgeries. Now, let's discuss about the contraindications of gastric lavage. Corrosive ingestion like strong acid or alkali, example drain cleaners. The reason behind this is, upper GA has already been exposed to the corrosive chemical ingestion. And doing a gastric lavage might induce re-exposure of the esophagus to corrosive chemicals again. And hence, gastric lavage is contraindicated in case of corrosive poisoning. Next, gastric lavage is contraindicated in case of ingestion of hydrocarbons or petroleum distillates because of high risk of aspiration potential. Next is minimally effective if given more than one hour post ingestion. Increased risk of GI bleeding or perforation and any history of gastric bypass surgery. Presence of convulsions. Poisoning with larger pills that cannot fit through the holes of the gastric tube. Unprotected airway, for example, altered level of consciousness has high aspiration risk. What are the solutions used for gastric lavage? Commonly used solutions are plain water. Plain water is particularly useful when the poison is unidentified. Normal saline. Activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is a potent adsorbent that rapidly inactivates many poisons. Other fluids used in the gastric lavage procedure are 5% sodium bicarbonate in acidic poisoning, 4% tannic acid in strychnine poisoning, 25% sodium thiosulfate in cyanide, iodine and arsenic poisoning, 1% calcium gluconate in oxalate poisoning, etc. Milk and coconut oil is also found to be used in specific cases. What are the equipments used for gastric lavage? Large bore nasogastric or orogastric tube, 36 to 40 French for adults. 60 ml irrigating syringe, tape for securing. Water soluble lubricant, stethoscope, irrigation solution. Container for aspirate, suction apparatus, 
rigid pharyngeal suction tip that is Yanker catheter used for suctioning of oropharyngeal secretions. Containers for specimens, bite block or oral airway which is useful in preventing patient from biting the tube in case of orogastric lavage and Y connector. Next, how do we prepare the patient for gastric lavage? If the patient has unprotected airway or limited gag reflex, the patient should be intubated before gastric lavage is performed because there may be changes in oxygen saturation leading to hypoxia. Check the vital signs and attach patient to the monitor. There are chances of hypotension or hypothermia following gastric lavage. Establish and maintain intravenous access. Provide oxygen using cannula. Supplemental oxygen may optimize the patient's oxygen saturation. Toxicology screening by collecting blood and urine samples. Check the abdominal girth of the patient. Remove if any dentures present and inspect the oral cavity for loose teeth. Keep the emergency medications in bedside. Next is positioning. Patient is made to be seated in semi fowlers or fowlers position for insertion of nasogastric or orogastric tube and the procedure of gastric lavage is followed in left lateral position. And if needed, restrain the patient. Next is the procedure of gastric lavage. If patient already has nasogastric or orogastric tube, we can check the position of the tube and initiate the gastric lavage procedure. If not, follow the following steps. Identify the patient and explain the procedure to the patient. Wash hands and wear appropriate PPE. Measure the distance between the bridge of the nose and the xiphoid process and mark it in the tube. Place the patient in semi fowlers or fowlers position with neck partially flexed. Insert the nasogastric or orogastric tube after lubricating the distal end. Pass the tube slowly into the stomach, encouraging the patient to attempt to swallow as the tube is advanced. Continue to advance the tube until the mark previously placed on the tube is reached. Confirm the tube placements by these steps. Aspirating with a 60 ml syringe for return of stomach contents. And save the specimen for toxic analysis before proceeding the irrigation. Obtain radiographic confirmation of the placement. Test the pH of gastric aspirate. Next, what are the types of irrigation? One is closed system irrigation and the other is intermittent open system irrigation. Now, how is closed system irrigation performed? After inserting the nasogastric or orogastric tube, attach a white connector at the end of the tube. Place the patient in a left lateral position with the head lowered about 15 degrees. Why? Because this allows the gastric contents to pull and decrease the passage of fluid into the duodenum during lavage. Next, connect the irrigation solution in one arm of the Y connector. Connect the drainage or suction tube to the other arm of the Y connector. Clamp the drainage tube or suction tube. Allow the irrigation solution that is 50 to 200 ml to run into the stomach by gravity. Stop the solution and unclamp the drainage or suction tube. Repeat until ordered amount has been used or desired results are obtained. Measure the drainage, subtracting the amount of irrigant instilled to obtain gastric output. Let's discuss how intermittent open system irrigation is performed. After inserting the nasogastric or orogastric tube, attach a 50 ml catheter tip syringe and instill 50 ml of irrigation solution. Withdraw and discard the solution into measuring container. Repeat the lavage procedure until the returns are relatively clear and no particulate matter is seen. In the overdose case, continue intermittent lavage until the aspirate is clear of the toxic substance or particulate matter. 
Once lavage is complete, activator charcoal can be installed through the tube if indicated. Remove the oral gastric tube or nasogastric tube slowly. Replace the articles, remove PPE and wash hands. Post-procedure care includes monitoring the vital signs, maintain intake output chart, control possible nausea and vomiting, look for traces of aspiration or gastrointestinal complications, inform the patient that his tools will turn black from the charcoal. The complications of gastric lavage procedure includes esophageal or gastric perforation, trauma to the nose, throat or esophagus, epistaxis if nasogastric root is used for lavage, hypothermia, vomiting, pulmonary aspiration of gastric contents, fluid and electrolyte imbalance, laryngospasm, hypoxia or hypercapnia. So this is all about gastric lavage procedure. If you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.